Hi, I am Dr. Vandika Tripathi, Oral and Maxillofacial Surgeon, Course Mentor Dentium. Today, I will be explaining about the Dentium Superline Guided Surgery Kit, a highly precise system designed for predictable and efficient implant placement. I will also demonstrate it on a dummy model to give you a clear understanding of the step-by-step -step process. So, let's get started. This is the Dentium Superline Guided Surgery Kit. Let's see what is inside. These are the guide drills. The diameter of guide drill is 2.3 millimeter available in 6, 8, 10 and 12 mm. The next drill is 3.6 millimeter. The 3.6 millimeter drill is denoted with the yellow color. So it is encircled with a yellow color band and it is available again in 6, 8, 10 and 12 mm length. The next drill is green color that is 4 mm it is encircled with a green color band it is again available in the same length 6 8 10 and 12 mm the next diameter is 4.5 encircled with a blue color band available in 6 8 10 and 12 mm these are the tissue punch available in two diameters 3.5 and 4.5 these two are the flat drills available in two diameters 3.5 and 4.5 these two are implant drivers this is handpiece driven implant driver and this is ratchet driven implant driver and this one is the ratchet now coming to the tissue punch so it is available in two diameters 3.5 and 4.5 if i am placing an implant of 3.6 or 4 mm i will be using a 3.5 mm tissue punch if i will be placing an implant of 4.5 mm i will be using a 4.5 mm tissue punch so they are basically used to remove the tissue from the implant position it is placed inside the handpiece and it is used to remove the tissue from the area where implant is to be placed now it is a flat drill it is used in narrow ridges and irregular alveolar bone to create a flattened bone surface preventing potential bone interference during subsequent surgery stages so i have prepared a surgical guide for this dummy model and i will be placing a 4.5 by 10 implant with the help of this dentium superline surgical guide kit so let's start the procedure so to start the procedure first i'll be using the flat drill to smoothen the irregular surface of the bone so the speed to use the flat drill will be 1000 rpm so after flattening the drill i will be using a 10 mm guide drill the offset of this drill is 9.3 mm so 4 mm of the offset will go inside the guide whereas the 5.3 mm will be at the level of the gums the speed at which the drilling will be done will be approx 800 to 1200 rpm depending on the quality of bone and the drill has to be used with the saline so complete insertion has to be done of the guide drill after the guide drill, I will be using the 3.6 mm drill. 3.6 mm drill again has to be completely inserted. The next drill will be 4 mm of 10 mm length. The next drill is 4.5 by 10 mm. This drill will also be inserted till the full depth. Now I will change the ICT motor settings at implant placement. After changing the uh, ICT motor settings to implant placement, so implant has to be placed with the help of this implant driver. The speed for implant placement is maximum 50 rpm and the torque will be 35 ncm. So I will be placing a 4.5 by 10 mm implant. So I will just pick it out 
from the implant box and I am going to insert it through the surgical guide. This step is done without irrigation otherwise the drilling process has to be done with copious irrigation. Now I will slowly insert the implant inside and I will let it go smoothly. So after complete placement of implant through surgical guide, I will remove the surgical guide from the patient's mouth and I will see whether my implant is properly positioned or not. So as I can see my implant is nicely placed inside the bone, it is surrounded by bone throughout. The diameter of the final drill is exact the final diameter of the implant. So while placing the implant if anybody feels like the implant is not properly inserted inside and the coronal portion of the implant is still exposed because of the good quality of the bone then you can just over prepare the osteotomy by drilling it twice with the final drill or you can use a shorter drill of 6 mm of the same diameter that if you are using a 4.5 by 10, 10 mm for placing the implant you can use a 4.5 by 6 mm for the coronal preparation of the osteotomy that will act as a countersink drill. Usually we use surgical guide for the accurate positioning of implants or we use it in the compromised cases. In this kit we have the option of placement of implant till 4.5 mm diameter. So if anybody wants to place an implant of 5, 6 or 7 mm then the sleeve has to be removed from the surgical guide and the simple surgical kit drills of final diameter 5, 6 or 7 mm has to be used and the implant of 5, 6 or 7 mm has to be placed. That's all about the Rentium Superline Surgical Guide Kit. If you like the content of this video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel.